face the savage. <laughs> All right, so um, before I even kick off this tutorial, um, the one thing you are going to absolutely need is a desktop or laptop computer. You are not going to be able to do this uh, with a mobile device. You need a computer because you will need to modify some text files and you're going to need to install some special softwares. Uh, you could do this if you are jailbroken, but... Um, this tutorial is it, this tutorial is mainly geared towards those who are um, not jailbroken. So, if you are going to want to do this tutorial, you will need a computer. You can't do this on your mobile device. So, if you don't have a computer of your own, um, ask like a parent or something if you can use theirs, because you will need to use a computer in order to do this. So. Um, with that being said, now I'm going to get onto the softwares that you need to install. So, in order to do this tutorial, you're going to need two softwares. Um, you're going to need two if you're on a Mac, and only one software to download if you're on Windows. Um, if you're running a Mac, like I am right now, you're going to need to install this program called Text Wrangler. Now, Text Wrangler is similar to Text Edit. Um, However, the reason why you need to install Text Wrangler is because you are going to need to uh, do some HTML coding in one of the files that's in Cloud Player. So um, you will need a special text editor in order to do that. And Text Wrangler allows you to um, edit HTML files, whereas Text Edit doesn't. So you will need Text Wrangler if you're on a Mac. And if you're on a Windows, you can just use WordPad because WordPad allows you to edit HTML. Uh, the second software you're going to need, this is for both Windows and Mac, you're going to need iFunbox. Um, I'm sure most of you guys already have iFunbox installed because um, if you play Pocket Edition, you need iFunbox to change your in-game skin or texture packs. So, most people already have iFunbox installed, but for those who don't, um, what you're going to first want to do is open up your internet browser um, using Safari. And uh, first I'm going to show you how to install iFunbox. You simply type iFunbox in Google, click the first link, and um, if you're running a Windows, you're going to click iFunbox for Windows and download for Windows. If you're running, I, uh, if you're running a Mac, you're going to click iFunbox for Mac and then download. Um, run the program, install it, and you'll be all set for iFunbox. Now, if you're a Mac, you're going to want to definitely follow this next part of the tutorial. You're going to need to install Text Wrangler. So type in Text Wrangler, and you're going to click the first link. It's going to say Bare Bones Software. Click that, and now you're going to click this uh, Download Now button. I already have Text Wrangler installed, as well as iFunbox, yeah, iFunbox, and Text Wrangler. So I am all set. Pretty much, I discovered that in order for the programming to actually take effect, or not necessarily to take effect, but in order for the file to appear that, uh, that has to be there that you're going to edit, um, you're going to need to turn on your phone or iPad or iPod and you're going to need to run the Cloud Player app and actually try doing a test record with it because if you don't then the file that you need to edit will not show up so before you proceed to the next step you're going to need to run Cloud Player and do like a trial run of it since I have already done my uh, sort of test run with Cloud Player the file should be there now so uh, the next step of the tutorial is going to involve the uh, the programming. So pretty much uh, what you're going to first do is you're going to open up iFunbox. And then once you're in iFunbox, go to User Applications, then Cloud Player. Once you're in the Cloud Player folder, go into Library, and then Preferences. Now there should be three files that appear in the uh, Preferences folder. There's going to be global, uh, .global preferences, com.apple.peoplepicker, and com.smartsoftware.cloudplayer. This is the file that you need to edit. And if you do not do the trial run of Cloud Player, um, 
this file will not show up. This file is only built after you run the Cloud Player app. So, um, once you have this file that appears, pretty much all you have to do is click and drag to your desktop. And the file will appear on your desktop. Now, once the file is on your desktop, you're going to open up WordPad if you're on Windows, or Text Wrangler if you're on a Mac. So, Text Wrangler is open. You're going to go File, Open. Now, you're going to look for the document. Um, over here is the cloudplayer.plist file. And when you open it up, you're going to see all this HTML programming. And most people don't even know what any of this is. And that's completely fine, because you don't need to worry about any of this, um, with the exception of the code that I'm going to show you. The code that you need will be in the description. So, uh, I have, whoops, no. I have the code written down here. Basically, you need to type, uh, bracket, then key, then close bracket, in all caps, full, then underscore features, and then another bracket and then a slash that will close the tag and then underneath that you're going to write in brackets true so I'm gonna copy and paste this code and when you go back over to wordpad or text wrangler you're going to look at line four over here's line four and it has dict in brackets what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit enter then tab and now I'm gonna paste the um, the code that I put in I'm just going to make that all in line with itself. But pretty much you're going to write bracket, key, close bracket, full underscore features in all caps. If you don't do it in all caps, then it will not work. Then you're going to do key, then slash, close the bracket, uh, true, and then you're going to do a slash to close that bracket and close it off. Uh, the slash will look like this. Not this one, but this one. So you need to do that slash. I think that's the code. It should work. There it goes. Okay, so I did the code wrong. So, I'm sorry. The code is key in all caps full underscore features, then slash key, and then true slash. Okay, so I'm going to have to fix that, but I was doing the code wrong. This is what you're supposed to have. Alright, that's my fault. So, ignore what I said before. You're going to need this code. So I'm just going to save it just to make sure that it worked. Now, when I X out, I'm just going to double check that it's saved by reloading it. And yes, it did save. Go back to iFunbox. Now you're going to see, uh, take this file, the original one, and delete it. And you're going to want to make sure that you delete it so that way there's only two files in there. Now click and drag the file from your desktop into iFunbox. Refresh the page. out cloud player to see if it actually works and I'm gonna go over to I don't even know what app um, uh, hmm I'll go over to Twitter just for the heck of it so um right now I'm testing out the app it should be working right now and um, if it is that's great I'm really happy that the tutorial worked so, um, Cloud Player can be a little bit buggy sometimes. Well, not necessarily buggy, but, um, it has to be set up a certain way if you want to record Pocket Edition. Uh, you need to have certain settings enabled in order for Cloud Player to work properly. And, uh, my good friend from school, uh, his YouTube channel is Online X Gamer. I'm sure most of you guys know about him because he has about 3,500 subscribers. So, um, yeah, if you aren't subscribed to him, go and uh, sub to him now. He has a tutorial on how to set up Cloud Player and make it work 100% properly with Pocket Edition. However, if you guys would like me to do a tutorial of my own, uh, just leave a comment below. I'd be more than willing to make a tutorial just to spread the word about how to make Cloud Player function properly. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. If it helped you, leave a like, favorite, comment below with your thoughts, share this video, subscribe for more content.